Hey everyone, this is Paul with RC Phone Fighters. Welcome back for part two of my MP UAV. Um, basically, we're out here at the park getting ready to do the maiden flights. Real quick, I'll just show you um, the setup. Um, this plane I just kind of threw together. It wasn't totally planned out how I was going to put the electronics. So it's pretty ugly right now. I just kind of chopped it up and uh, fit stuff in there. But the battery's in the front. Um, I made a little tray. I don't know if you can see it through the nose. Um, I had to get it really far forward to get the proper CG. Um, with the final version, I might scoot the motor forward a little bit and adjust where the battery's at. And also with the when I do the um, EDF version, I think I'll be able to mount the motor more flat since I'll have the EDF um, more forward and the weight will be more centralized. So it should make it easier to put the battery. Uh, but basically I'm running a 30 amp ESC, brushless ESC. And I got the uh, old Supo 2212 uh, 6 motor, rated at 2200 kV. And I'm running, running a 6x4 um, APC prop. So let's get it plugged in and see how this thing goes. We on? All right, wish me luck. Good luck, man. Oh, man. That thing like spun like a top, didn't it? All right, guys. That first launch didn't go too good. I'm not totally sure what happened. It was totally weird and spiraling. Um, we are having about 10 mile an hour winds today, so that might be part of it, and it might be a little um, tail heavy, especially in the high wind. So I added some weight in the front. Um, I'm hopefully launching more directly straight into the wind, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking that the side winds might be grabbing, you know, the big surfaces on this thing, totally rolling it. So I might have to wait till a, a real calm day to find out how it's really flying. But I'm going to try it again. Um, it's a little damaged, but let's uh, throw it in the air see what happens. Okay, guys, that's still uh, kind of weird. So I throw it up again. I don't know. Who knows if this thing's even going to fly the way it's reacting. All right, guys, I, what, I tried tossing it in the air three times, and it's still this totally weird spiraling. I'm not sure if it's the wind catching that big uh, vertical stabilizer on the bottom, so I totally chopped it down, put it just to the rear. That, and it might even just be the big giant body. Um, maybe the wind's just totally catching it. Um, that, and I added another ounce of weight in the front, so let's see if we can even just get this thing in the air. I just want to see if the shape will fly. Um, let's try it and find out. Good luck, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that last one didn't work too good. Um, looks like I'm definitely going to have to go back to the drawing board on this. Um, me and Frank did some glide tests without any of the weight in it, and it actually, you know, glided nice and straight, but that was just in the house. Uh, throwing it probably yeah. about 15 feet. So, that was without any of the weight in it. Yeah, so, though, so I don't know if the weight's having a totally weird adverse effect on it. Maybe the way I got it hanging. Um, that, and I, like I said, the winds are fairly high today. It's 10 miles an hour with gusts probably up to, what, 15 today? Yeah. Right? So I might just have to rebuild it, try it on a calm day. Um, I don't know. Go back to the drive more. I definitely like the shape of the plane, so I'm going to try and stick to the, um, the look of it. Um, I might get rid of the vertical stabilizer on the bottom and maybe shrink up the actual body size. Um, yeah, it's just weird because it did glide really yeah, well. Yeah, like in the house it was like perfectly straight and steady, so I'm not sure what's going on. And I don't think it's torque roll because it's rolling um, with the way the, the motor's opposite, going, yeah, so it should be torque roll, way. should be going the opposite. So I think, I don't know, if maybe my surfaces are not even or it's just the wind or what. But uh, we'll, get, we'll keep working on it and see what happens. Okay. 